Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tanks of Freedom. And on this episode, we are going to go through the first level. Now, I've had some issues with this level. Uh, the publisher actually contacted me and wanted to know what the issues were, so I figured the easiest way would just be to load up and do a little short video where I show off what, what's actually happening for me. Uh, and maybe they might be able to, to fix whatever that issue is. So let's go ahead and go into it. This is Mayday Square, by the way, guys. So let's go ahead and hit play. Uh, actually, this looks a little different from what it was doing earlier. Let me can I move? I can move my guys. Okay, so wow, I don't know what the issue was. That's kind of weird. My guys, the first time I loaded up, I couldn't move them. They they wouldn't move at all. And this area over here where the clouds were at uh, was gone. Like it was just there was like this big emptiness that looked kind of weird. So maybe it just didn't load up right the first time. I don't know. That's huh. Well. Okay, well, I'm actually not that upset that it's, it's working because that means I got a new level to play, which is cool. So we are going to take this over, and then we're going to come up here and see what's here. Oh, there's some troops. Okay, so we will hold off on attacking, so they will attack us. Move this guy up as well, and then we're going to end our turn there. Okay, so he didn't do what I thought he was going to do, which was to attack with these guys, which is probably the smart move. Because if he did, I would have killed him. That probably would have been the end of the game right there. Wow, they started us with a lot of troops. I wonder why. This is a lot of troops for such a small little area. Uh, wow, this is this is definitely one-sided. <laughs> this is gonna be a short map. Uh, let's see. We can we can leave him there. He's he's gonna die, but we'll leave him there. They will attack. I'll have two guys here. Let's see. Can we move these guys up? Yes, we can. There you go move you up as well and now when they take those two guys out uh, which they didn't do where did he go did he did he jump back I think he jumped back okay they are set on coward mode apparently <laughs> which is a little weird I, I wouldn't say I can take it over now but I think I'm gonna actually draw it out a little bit and uh, teach these guys a lesson for running away now you're dead punk let's get him out of there because he can't attack and he's just taking up the space get you in there. Uh, both these guys would die if they actually attacked, but for some weird reason, they don't want to. Can we not move? Can we not move? Oh, we're out of coins. I was going to say, I wanted to block the main base so he couldn't produce any more troops, uh, but I guess we don't really have to. So we are going to kill this guy off. Wow, we didn't kill him? I thought he had uh, almost no life. Well, he has no life now. We can take this over. Well, I didn't know you could do that. I thought you could either move, you could attack... Uh, but you couldn't do all three, which is take over a building as well. And it looks like we can. So, okay, we're going to do it. <laughs> I don't think that's the way they meant it to be. Uh, but if they're going to allow us to do it, we're going to kind of cheat a little bit and, and take advantage of that. So let's end our turn right there. See, are they going to produce any more troops? No, they're not going to produce any more troops uh, yet again. So I'm going to block it. I'm going to kill this guy. Oh, look at that. The buildings on the outsides got destroyed, or at least they're damaged. Wow, that's cool. I can't wait till we get, like, tanks over here and, and just start completely demolishing these buildings. Maybe even make it where you get penalized for destroying these buildings. Maybe that's your goal is to come over here and, like, save the town uh, or save the people. And every building that gets destroyed, uh, you lose gold coins or something to kind of force you away from the buildings as, like, a strategy. I don't know. That might be kind of, kind of too in-depth. I don't know if they're going to go that route, but this guy's going to die. There we go. And uh, I guess we can move these guys up. It's kind of pointless, but we'll move them up. And we'll end our turn there. It's a really short level, though. If I hadn't drawn it out as much, I'd probably been able to do this in like 10 seconds. Let's do this. You know what? We're going to play that one one more time because I'm kind of curious about how fast we can beat this level. Now that we know... Okay, so there's no bug on it, which is good. I like that. Okay. Wow, that's weird. Let's, let's come up here. Let's get these guys up here get this guy as well we will attack he's dead almost dead you will attack this guy kill him off this guy will move up attack this guy um, hmm you know what we're gonna move this guy out of the way so this guy can get a little closer I can't attack okay on the next turn though we are gonna win this let's kill him move up kill him 
move up and take over yes 32 seconds what do you guys think you think you can beat it faster than that maybe if it was a little quicker we might be able to get it down to about 20 seconds on that one let me know what your best score is guys i want to know what you guys not only think of this game but how fast can you beat this first level because that's a little too too easy i think this one is just uh, it's kind of a nice level to introduce you into it. I think this would be a great tutorial level, to be honest, because it gives you plenty of troops to start with, uh, so you can make a lot of mistakes and still not have to worry about losing. Uh, we're out of coins. Okay, so end the turn. Come on. Going for a bit of time here. Come on. I can do it. I can do it. Kill you. Move up. Oh, yeah. 15 seconds, guys. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Again, I want to thank you for watching. This is Tanks of Freedom brought to you by P1X or Pix, uh, Pixel Art for short. Make sure to head over to their website if you like their game. Give them some love. Give them some donations. They use all the money that they get from you guys to increase and uh, make better content on this game. So, again, if you like the game, support the publishers you enjoy, and you'll find more of that content. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow my channel. Make sure to leave those comments down below. Love to hear back what you think of this game. And I will catch you guys on the next episode.